What is your favourite historic figures through art, music and fashion? Oh, that's a massive question. It's a bit open-ended. Yeah, I mean, I love talking about the people I love and the people I hate, you know, that's what you end up talking about. But in terms of... Who do you hate? In, oh, no, I won't go into <laughs> In terms of... Um, in terms of me, you know, there's the people I admire and they're the people who've probably been an obvious influence, influence on me and they're not necessarily the same, but I could reel off a list of people that I think are amazing and in various fields and, you know, you can pick and choose which ones may or may not have influenced me. So I'll just go a list of people that I like. Um, off the top of my head, Jane Austen, uh, Steve Ovett, um, Joseph Muller Brockman, Paul Clay, Clay Soldenberg, Philip Guston, Gary Panter, Richard Scarry, Hale Shea, Morris, George Herriman, Morris Sendak, um, who else? I can't think of any of them in my head. Generally, they're, they're people in visual arts, but I read a lot of books, and for me, a lot of what my work is about isn't just the visual, there's a kind of sensibility and a kind of underlying. God, that sounds terribly pretentious, but it's kind of about stuff, and for it just to be influenced by visual things would mean that it was only about the visual, and it's not, yeah. it's about you know, the world we live in, I suppose, or it's a reflection of the world we in live in. In context as well, of course. So yeah. in terms of things that influence me, it's books I read, and films I watch, and politics, and geography, and history, and philosophy, and all that kind of thing. So I'd say the one thing that's the least influential is probably fashion. Fashion yeah. with a big F and fashion with a small F has never been a big thing for me. And it's funny because I'm in this world of street culture, well, that's the world I've kind of most closely associated with. Yeah. And there's a lot of artists I know who came up through graffiti, and for me graffiti never, was never anything I was interested in. I always thought it was a bit, just well, I won't go into graffiti because it's a kind of massive thing that you can debate with people. But, um, that, that kind of branch, that, that branch of culture and sort of hip hop and fashion was just never on my radar. I was always much more interested in kind of traditional art and design and that kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. It's something that's, I, I suppose it's something that's very personal to people as well. It's yeah. I mean, I think everybody, I mean, that's the funny thing about being asked for a list of artists is I'm not, I'm not sure that it's any more of any more interest than asking somebody who's not an artist a list of artists. Of course. Like, I think some of those people I mentioned are very relevant to what I do. And you could see a kind of connection and then other people are just people I admire and whose work I enjoy. And generally, that's, that's the list of kind of dead people that I like. I mean, you can tell that you've given that list many times as well, by the way you effort the list. Certain, certain people, you know, from people, I think Maurice Sendaka is less, somebody I'm less conscious of being influential because I'm reading it, a lot of his books to my daughter at the moment. He's kind of back in my mind. But she's really into Richard Scarry, which is really nice because that was the big, sort of really big thing. Often cited as, as yeah. a key influence. And yeah. it gets a bit boring citing those influences because I'm always but like, But it's, fanta it's a fantastic Scarry. influence though. If people know about it, they should. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot more writers that I grew up on. And I was a very, I was a very kind of, my, I, I wasn't into hip hop. I was into kind of existentialism. As a teenager, and I was interested in being Albert Camus and Jean Paul Sartre, and being deep and watching French New Wave films. L'Etranger. Yeah, spent, yeah, very much. And, uh, so that was a, that I grew up as a teenager being very interested in kind of serious art. I mean, if I was plotting my development, I was a kid. I was into Tintin and Richard Scarry. As a kind of young teenager, I was into comics. Then I got into proper art and I was into really deep stuff like Mark Rothko and abstract expressionism and the kind of angsty side of culture. And then when I went to art college I got back into comics but into the kind of artier side of comics. That's when I discovered people like Gary Panter. Um, and then I kind of came out the other side and just ended up liking things more for what they were than maybe how I could use them to kind of build my own artistic identity. So, cool. And uh, on the subject of art still, what music are you currently listening to? Oh God. Um, Another curveball. Well, it's not really a curveball, but I think <laughs> having, having a kid is a complete, for me anyway, because I'm quite an involved dad, is, 
it's kind of destroyed my um, sort of ability to consume contemporary music because being into music in a kind of serious way is a sort of full-time job. I think when you have to, it's a lifestyle thing. Um, but Russell, my partner at Amos, is still massively into music because he's his kids are all grown up now. So I kind of get loads of stuff off him. We both had a big black metal phase. I was into Doom for a bit. Mm -hmm. um, that was actually a while ago. Listening to a lot of Doom, and um, recently, one of the things I've got um, was a really good compilation of Nigerian sort of 70s rock and jazz funk. So quite broad and eclectic. Sort of Fela Kuti-ish, but yeah. more, but a bit weirder and rawer than Fela Kuti. Um, oh yeah, I like all sorts. I couldn't say it was any particular thing. I really like sort of 20s folk music, and I like avant-garde classical music and I like jazz and I like Ornette Coleman and Thelonious Monk and Miles Davis and I like heavy metal and Slayer and Black Sabbath and Abrupton and Carne, you know, just all sorts of things. I could, it's one of those things where people say, what's your favourite record? Like, what was the last gig you went to? The last gig I went to, sadly, was My Bloody Valentine, which is a real kind of, which is a great gig, but um, you know, shows my age because that was the kind of period where I was most obsessed with music. Was it? Well, not most obsessed, but most active and going to see bands was the kind of mid to late eighties when I was a teenager and I was really into American noise rock, which I still really like. But best to point out that it was a recent revival gig yeah, you went to and not not in their heyday. Yeah, back I did in go the, and see uh, them in early nineties. Yeah, I did see them with Dinosaur Junior and Jesus and Mary Chain when I was at Brighton. Wow. 92 even, it was a long time ago. Cool. I've been to some gigs since then.